So in today's video, I've got a tip from Ben Hogan that is over 60 years old that is gonna transform the way you hit the golf ball. So let's just clarify, the tip is over 60 years old, not me. So in 1957, Ben Hogan's five lessons, the modern fundamentals of golf, which I appreciate now, does not seem so modern, but there was some great stuff in there. And there was one particular bit that I think was, when you look at today's technology, was incredible that he'd worked out how changing his setup from club to club helped him hit the ball much straighter than many of the players playing then. And actually nowadays will transform the way you shape the golf ball. So when we talk about why a golf ball shapes, the golf ball sets off incredibly close to where the club face points. And then the path the club travels on dictates the shape. So in theory, if you want to hit the ball as straight as possible, you need to get that club face pointing at the target with your path being as straight as possible. And on Trackman, the path, if it was dead straight, would show a zero. Anything slightly left or out to in would be a minus number. And anything from the inside would be a plus number. So I'm gonna run through what Hogan said you should do with setup, with your feet position, from wedge, seven iron, four iron, and three wooden driver to help you hit the ball much more accurately. So the big thing was he spoke about getting the golf ball in a very static position in the stance, so very much opposite the left heel. And you'd start with a very, very narrow stance with the wedges, gradually getting wider and wider until you got to driver being the widest. And we can imagine then that obviously when you're very, very narrow, the ball's still fairly central in your stance. And as you move your stance wider, the ball moves forward. That's gonna help with our angle of attack and where our low point would be in the swing. So I'm gonna hit a wedge shot. I'm gonna show you the numbers and then I'm gonna explain why that's so important and show you as I work up through the clubs how this is gonna help you. So we spoke about left heel, very, very narrow, but also quite an open stance with your wedge. And then from there, swing on the line, your body's created. And we can see there my club path minus 0.4 degrees. Now we could also see on that graphic though that my low point was 4.1 inches behind, but my swing direction, which might be a term you're not sure about, was 2.8 degrees left. So your golf swing is a circle, obviously a much bigger version than this circle. But because you stand to the side of the golf ball, obviously the club travels down to get to the lowest point of the swing and then back up. So the more down the club is traveling, actually the more from the inside the club's traveling and the more up the club travels, the more out to in. Now, when your low point is ahead of the golf ball, you will be swinging down and therefore from the inside when you collect the golf ball. So Hogan had worked out somehow that as he opened his stance up, so if I look at the camera there, as I open my stance up, the swing direction, so the direction the club moves at the lowest point, is actually left. But then if I'm collecting the ball early, that's going to neutralise my path. So you see what I mean? That's very clever and a very interesting way without this technology. He obviously found this out through trial and error. So short irons, really short irons and wedges, very, very narrow, ball left heel, and the most open the stance would be. So as we move into seven iron, we're still gonna get that ball left heel. We're gonna go slightly wider with the stance, but not quite as open. So that back foot's gonna start moving a little bit further back. And if we make that the swing with the seven iron, again, swinging on the line of the body, we can see club path now minus 0.2 degrees, swing direction minus two, low point 2.7 inches ahead, and the carry at 160. So we could see by squaring the stance up a little bit more, still open, it made me swing less left. The low point was also less far over the head of the golf ball. Therefore, again, that neutralized my path and helped me hit the ball straighter. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still about controlling where that club face is, but that's not this video. This is about, if you wanna get your path as neutral as possible, how Hogan's tip 
from 1957 could be the missing piece to your game. So now we go from seven iron to four iron. Again, we're still gonna get that static ball position, but we're now getting more towards the stance being a little bit more square. Still very slightly open. And we can see now, I've actually swung a little bit more left on that one and move my low point further forward, but still a very good path at minus 1.6 and that carry getting out there at 191. But I'm sure you can agree, not a great deal of shape on that for a shot that's traveled 191 yards through the air. Now, this is where it starts getting interesting. So once we get onto fairway wood, the misconception a lot of golfers make is that they need to be sweeping the ball away. We still need the low point to be slightly ahead of the golf ball. So the club's traveling down, albeit very shallowly. So again, left heel, much wider with the stance, but maybe just very, very slightly closed. And again, swing on the line that your body's set up. That feels so easy. And again, we can see there, I've swung very slightly left, low point, 0.9 inches ahead. Path 0.2 degrees from the inside. So to be fair, dead straight. And again, two, three, two. 0.8 carry. Now this is where it becomes most genius. So particularly in modern golf, a lot's made about we need to get the club traveling up through impact in order to maximize our distance. But like I said before, as the club is moving up, it's now actually starting to move more left or out to in. So again, Hogan's theory here is left heel, wider stance and actually pull that toe the most back. That's now going to make me swing more from the inside, but as the club's travelled up to get to the golf ball, we should be much more neutral with the path. And again, take that all day long. And we can see there, I've actually swung 2.9 degrees to the right with the swing direction. The low point's been 5.8 inches behind. Angle of attacks then moved up 3.8 degrees into the ball. Path has still been very, very straight at minus 0.4. And even though it's not one of my longest, still 250 carry. So I think you can see there, incredibly neutral path as I've gone through the bag. But it's not because I've been trying to swing differently. All I've been doing is keeping a nice static ball position opposite that left heel, inside the left heel. I've been much more kind of open with my stance with the short clubs like wedges. Then the stance gets wider and straighter. And as we move up onto driver, wider stance gets that trail foot back. And what we're changing with the shape of the feet is we're changing our swing direction. The low point then being appropriate gives us that nice neutral path. And like I said, this tip from 1957 will transform the way you shape the ball.